Hello there YouTube, it is Fuel the Bandicoot here, and I'm here to give you race number three of the Sony Cup Series schedule. Bit of news to talk about here today, the three of Connor White passed away at Rockingham. His brother Dylan White is stepping in to drive his car here today. Nothing else new to talk about. Let's get this thing started and let's get on starting good. is pulling in. Nick Mace the 48 Chevrolet, a title threat. He's your point leader, I think. Pretty sure he is. Nick Mace, your point leader. The 48 car leads him down. Down the back straight away they go. Ralph Mason, 10th in points in that 26 car, going for the lead with help from Greg Brown. Three wide back there, the 9 has a little bit of front end damage already, and three wide racing there. Luke Martin, the 27 car, is tied for the points lead as well. That 27 car, Mason Gordon looking low, racing today is going to get a little spread out here today with these cars. Different kind of cars. These cars drive differently because there's cars back in the 90s and cars in the early 2000s. So, so yeah. Here comes the 8 car. Hayden Klein. The Rocky Hound getting help from Ray Castor who's 28th in points. Ray Castor. Oh god, we got a wreck in the back. I think I saw the, um, I think I saw um, the 6 around back to the line. Who was all in the wreck? I'm not sure. I just saw someone spin sideways. Noah Hart in the 72. Barely making the race here today. I think he was involved. VJ Bushonda had to race his way in. He was involved. Colin Cropley who's like last in points is involved. Tate Scafield, your qualifying race winner. He was around. Let's take a replay. Here's a replay of what happened. I think the 17 a Tager gets sent it. Yep, it was the 17 turned the 19 down into the 14. And whoa, the 17. I think he goes airborne. Yes, a 17 car. Tertager. And the 17 went airborne. He's on his roof. Wow. Pretty hard lick. He's still barrel rolling. Probably seven times, eight, nine, ten. Ten times I counted once we got on his camera angle. Probably more. Let's take another replay. He was the one that turned the 19 down. And then Colin Cropley turns him up in the wall, right up into Richard Johnson, your defending championship winner. He goes airborne flipping down the back straight away. Daniel Reigns, a per he checks up pretty good for him. Vijay Pashanda almost made it by, but couldn't miss the flipping trick tager.
after that wreck, it puts this puts Greg Brown in the two car, the leader, Mason Gordon, second, third, Brandon McGuire, Rockingham winner, Hayden Klein, in fourth, and in fifth, Ray Casper. And Joe Cole, who's had a miserable season so far, he runs right now inside the top ten, and Jeffrey Lynn, who failed to qualify for Daytona, runs inside the top ten as well. Greg Brown leads off of Nicholas Cordovo's doing really good in points. He's third in points. He right now is his way up into the top ten now, pushing um, Sean Galligan in the 66. I think they're both in the top ten in points, both of them in the 99 and the 66. Whoa, a car sideways in front of the field. Hayden Klein, I thought, was the red car that went sideways in the Brandon McGuire. Let's take a replay of that save from both of them. All right, the 8 and the 54 are going for the lead. Then Hayden Klein makes a last-minute three-wide move, but then he checks up a bit, but it wasn't good enough to get off the 54. Almost the same thing we saw at Daytona with um, Eugene DeMax and... Um, Eugene DeMax and one other car. I can't remember. I think it was Joe Cole. But everyone's going to um, slowed up this pack right here. Whoa! Whoa, again! Again, the 54 and the 8 on the apron. Again, saving that car. Amazing driving by Brandon McGuirt. Brandon McGuirt, he can't get off the 8 car because the 8 car is almost like about to turn him every turn they go into. Here's the guys that are off the pace and has lost the big pack. Um, that was Chris Harley in the 20. Margaret Mason, who hasn't had the best season so far. Richard Johnson, your defending champion. We all know he can get it done to win another championship, but right now that 92 wasn't very good at Rockingham and isn't that good here. He may be a threat to fall out of the top 20 in points, but he has to pass championship provisional if he wants it. And we got a wreck. Oh, God, we got a big wreck. That was the 26. Oh, God, that was a hard lick. Replay of what happened when we was talking about them guys in the back. The 26 got turned down in the 8. The 8 just like almost got airborne. The 26 is on its side. Nicholas Cordova is third in points. He went around. Greg Brown. He had a chance at um, getting outside the qualifying races. And the 20 car. Oh, that was a hard lick. I wonder how that was in full time. Hayden Klein. That was a pretty nasty lick to the side. Harley, who was running in the back of the field. He was... He nailed the 8 car. Let's take a replay of that. watching that replay the 20 was just being an idiot I mean geez slow down the spotter had enough time to tell that driver of Chris Harley to slow down by the time he reached he reached the start finish line uncalled for by the 20 car you should see some penalties coming up for the 20 car soon no that was terribly uncalled for both drivers walk away Hayden Klein hate Chris Harley both drivers walk away but with a limp on them look kind of hurt but nothing serious on them, them guys man uncalled for for the restart a little late on the restart there but 
Mason Gordon leads, takes the road in the 98 car. Billy Bishop, Nick Mason, put the center right there. Jeffrey Lynn and Joe Cole, these guys are very, they don't have very much equipment. Them cars, I mean, yeah, it's a six car, and it looks like it's from Ralph Spinway, but it's not. That team is really not that fast, neither is the 75. They have, um, six. Six is threatened to drop out of the top 20 in points. Remember, after this race, we go to the current point system for the qualifying races. So that means anybody outside the top 20 after this race will be in the qualifying race. One is your pole sitter. Looks like he may have a tire down. And Crockley made a turn in the race right there. He just went, got a, got a lap down. Noah Hart's also off the pace. Looks like, oh, Billy Bishop. Billy Bishop gets on by. His teammate holds up Jer Mason Gordon. His teammate holds up Mason Gordon. Billy Bishop goes on by. Billy Bishop, the new leader here, with four laps to go. Can Billy Bishop hold off Mason Gordon? Jeffrey Lynn. Is that the double zero? The double zero car. He made a lap to racing remaining. The Wispa Field in second place. Looking to make a move on Mason Gordon for the lead. Billy Bishop in third. Oh, we got a lap car, I think. That's Richard Johnson, your champion. He'll go to the outside. Richard Johnson holds. Hold, I think Nicholas Cordova is a lap down as well. They stay out of the. They stay out of the way. Coming to the white flag. Who will win? White flag is out. Billy Bishop down the inside. Billy Bishop for second. Dylan White in fourth. This is his um first race replacing Connor White. Wouldn't it be something if he wins replacing Dylan White? Or Connor White might mass out to say. Here comes Billy Bishop trying to make a last minute charge. Moving Mason Gordon on the bumper. I don't think it's going to happen. Mason Gordon wins here at Atlanta. Mason Gordon, the winner here at Atlanta. Second goes to Billy Bishop. Third, Dylan White. Fourth, Noah Scafield. Fifth, Dylan Reigns. Sixth, Luke Martin. And seventh goes to Jeffrey Lynn. Here's the rest of the results. Great race. And, um, Chris Harley and Hayden Klein, they had somewhat of a limp getting out of their car, but they're all right. Very hard accident for them. They're all right. Everybody else, this is your finishing results. I'm Kiel the Bandicoot, and this is me signing out.